Hello and welcome back to the land of Seeker, and in the previous episode we met with the messenger in the tavern, had a bunch of adventures with him there, and we are now in the nearby village, attempting to track down whatever it is he thought was here, so I believe there is actually a messenger over, yes, hello there, it is a fellow by the name of Walter, do you have anything to do with me, Darian, how did you find me here? Darian went to talk to him. After some discussion, the two walked back. Will you help us? You give him the letter. He returned the letter to you after checking it. Of course, whoever receives such a letter can contact our order in every region. I know what happened. Our order are watching what's going on with the Seekins. We are pleased to help you. Great, thanks for your help. But we have some issue to solve before we can help you. Sorry, what issue? We were not the sworn enemy of the slavers, but seems like they are planning for something. They captured one of our friends. We must rescue him first. Can I help you? If I rescue your friend, will you ensure my settlement's safety? Yes, we will ensure you and your settlement's safety, that's for sure. We won't lie to those who were guided by God. We can set an ambush, rescue our... <laughs> There's some guy pushing me right now. Rescue our friend from the slaver's caravan, then we owe you one. All right. Darian will aid you in the battle and I will contact our order. I'll, I'm sure they will offer some extra help. Once you are ready, you can strike the slavers. Just focus on rescuing our friend. The rest, leave it to us. The slavers may rest near the village. That offers you a good opportunity to strike. Okay, let's do it. All right, I am very, very pleased about this. Hopefully, we're going to have a decent enough army to be able to even do this. Um, yeah, okay, so let me just take a quick look. All right, so... Yeah, you need to uh, 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 set an ambush and attack the slavers nearby. Okay. Um, who tells you that you need set an ambush nearby and attack the slavers to rescue their captives? Uh, uh, wait here for some time? I... Ah, a knight of... Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. A knight of Seeker come to your camp. He told you that slavers are on the way. Prepare for battle. They have 51? Alright. This is going to be a big deal. This is going to be a big deal. Darian, by the way, has not recovered from his adventure in the town. So this is going to be very, very amusing. Alright. Let me attack them. There we go. Alright, looks like we have uh, the fool dare to attack us. Alright, so we actually are significantly less powerful than this party. That was 100% expected on my part. I really did think that they were going to be more powerful than us. When I saw them having this much, um, this many people, yeah. There, there, there was just no way that they would be... Um, yeah, they're, they're going to be very difficult for us to deal with. Although, maybe not, because they do have cavalry and they also have infantry. So I'm very much hoping that what they're going to do is they're going to split up. I'll very much hope that they will split up, because if they do, then my forces will tear apart their cavalry. And then we will hopefully have the infantry distracted for long enough for us to be able to deal significant damage to them ourselves. Okay, I'm actually going to shoot this guy's horse. Usually I don't do this kind of thing on purpose, but um, I'm actually going to do that just for the, the purpose of eliminating this guy's mobility, because he's going to be really annoying to me otherwise. Oh, I'm actually hitting him by mistake now, of course. There we go. Okay, so his horse is now down. That's perfect. Nice shot there. Can I distract a couple more of these guys? Nice shot. Nice. Nice. Okay, that's his, this, this is actually working out quite well, surprisingly. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Don't get my horse killed. Don't get my horse killed. Okay, I really should have bought some of that, uh, some of that better horse armor, I think. That probably would have made sense. Okay, nice hit. Ah, oh, this guy. This guy with his shield. How annoying. All right. Not too bad. These guys actually seem to be pretty easy to eliminate. They seem relatively low HP. Let's tell my uh, infantry to charge in now. 
Okay, that was it. Okay, so now, unfortunately, we are in the water. This is making things very difficult for us because I need speed to be able to do damage with my pole arm. So let's just hope that I can actually do that. Nice damage right there. That was not too bad. Okay, uh, can you turn around, sir? Uh, you can... Could you... Yes, there we go. Take the damage. Take the damage. Thank you. All right. Okay, I'm a bit worried about these guys. Nice! My forces are taking them off their mounts and then taking them down in a very swift fashion. Love it. Very nice. Oh yeah, and Vegetable has gained a level. Is he a carrot now? Is he a turnip? We will never know. Alright, that is it. That is a victory and a half for us. I'm actually super surprised we were able to do that, but obviously, if you remember what I said at the very start, if they separate their cavalry and we can distract enough of their infantry, then we stand a pretty good chance of achieving victory, and that's exactly what happened. There you go. Nice. We got 14 renown almost. Very good. And we only ended up losing 5 units ourselves. Very good. Okay, here we go. Now we can just level up a couple more of our people here. Um, I might try to go for some cavalry now. I think cavalry would be really, really useful for us. So that's what I'm going to do. And there we have it. Okay, wow. Massive amounts of really, really good gear too. Look at this. I mean, obviously not the... Uh, not the armor so much, but the uh, the helmet that I just got. That's pretty nice. And is there anything else here? Yeah, some boots. Obviously, very minor upgrade. I am going to, of course, once I get a decent amount of cash, uh, I am going to be upgrading that. As I showed in the previous episode, I did upgrade my gear a little bit. And uh, there we go. Okay, so I've just taken all that loot. And these guys are going to... Well, they're just going to run into me right now. I'm just going to auto-resolve against them. Easy enough. I can't believe he actually dropped some loot. All right. Hello, stranger. I'm Lauren of the... Uh, KG? KG? Kagi? I, I really have... Okay, I have no idea. You are welcome. It's my pleasure to reduce the number of those slaver scum. Besides, the Knights of Seeker asked me for help. Knights of Seeker? There was a deep frown on his face. Indeed, there's no faction daring enough to attack the slavers except those knights... Stranger, I must say we won't go with you. No, I am not one of the knights. You see Darian ride toward you. Ha! Huh. Darian the Wonder. I don't expect the knights can also do this. Okay, yes, they mean Darian the Wanderer, I, I assume, with this, because that, that's his name. Anyway, uh, Darian, no, he is not one of us. We are just here to help the Order rescue you and your people. He said, <laughs> yes, I think we should leave, I say. Are you the outlander who saved the Seekans? Why are you here? And now you are a friend of the Knights of Seeker? You briefly introduce your journey to him. Huh, interesting journey. Darian, we are very grateful for the help of the Seeker Knight, but we want to visit this stranger's village. Vegetable, will you accept? It very much depends. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Is it boiled or steamed? I don't know. Anyway, yes, but you looked at Darian and he says... But we promise to rescue you and put you under their protection for the Knights of Seeker. Huh, Darian, seems like you even forgot your holy codex after being exiled from the Order. Let me help you. Codex of Peace, Volume, hmm, Paragraph, hmm. You must respect the free will of others and never enforce anyone, or you will doom yourself. Your Order can't save everyone, or we won't... In such condition, I'm I'm sorry. I try my best, okay? I try my best to make what I can of it, but sometimes it is not easy. Anyway, Vegetable, if you want to survive on this continent, you must strengthen your faith. Darian wants to talk, but after, after some hesitation, he chose to remain silent. I understand. Hurry up. I and my people have suffered. We need healing and rest. Are you telling us to hurry up after we rescued him? Are you serious? Come on now. <laughs> All right, all right. So we're now we're going to go over to our settlement. Okay. Uh, I'm going to heal myself a little bit, actually, just in case. 
And let's just continue resting. I'm actually just going to take a quick look at the journal, just, just in case. Okay, he wants to go to your settlement with his people. If you want to talk to him, take him and his people to your settlement first. Okay, so let's go into the settlement. Oh, I probably should have actually uh, saved before going anywhere else. That would have made more sense, just in case it actually does crash. You never know. And that was a pretty good... Um, pretty good uh, victory for us. Can I actually save here? No. Okay, I'm actually going to leave and then come back in. Because I'm, I'm, I'm paranoid, okay? I'm paranoid. I really don't want to do that slaver fight again. Because I feel like that was actually pretty decent. How we were able to maintain a lot of our um, a lot of our forces while still dealing some pretty significant damage to the opponent. Anyway, let me see. There he is over there. And what does he have to say for himself? This is a good place for sure. Uh, what, what about your people? They have almost recovered. The Seekans are good medics. Uh, why did you refuse the protection of Seeker Knights and come to us? Vegetable outsider, I am interested in why you have dared to attack the slavers. They are powerful and merciless. Uh, they attacked me first. I probably know. Monai and I have talked a little. Then it's my turn. Let me answer your question. I don't believe Seeker Knights. If Seeker Knights can protect us, there will be no such fate befalling, uh, befallen, uh, uh, there will be no such fate that befalls us. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, so, um, anyway. Sure, they also have their reasons. You will know more in the future. So I refuse their protection. So what's your plan? Well, it seemed to go very well, considering you were a prisoner, you absolute imbecile. I don't even know what he's talking about right now, because he's basically saying that the Knights of Seeker are, are people that he shouldn't, that he doesn't trust. He doesn't trust them, but he was a literal prisoner of the, uh, of the slavers. And so how can you not have, you know, trust in the Knights? Maybe, I don't know, maybe the Knights are just as bad as the slavers. I, I really have, I haven't seen that yet. So who knows? Maybe that will happen. Maybe there's a big twist or something. Anyway. Same question for you, stranger. I think this is not the place to talk about that. We'd better talk about it in the village hall with Manai. All right. Uh, he, well, I mean, he's over there. He's waiting for you in the village hall. Well, I mean, he's over here, isn't he? So let me just go and speak to him then. Oh, okay. Apparently, we need to go into the village hall, uh, which is... Ah, there we go. We now have an extra thing to select. Okay, I'm going to save once again, just to make sure. You never know. And let's go into the Lord's Hall. All right. Ooh, this is looking real nice. I like it. Hello there. You're standing very close to each other. Anyway, Master, anything I can help? I mean, uh, no, you didn't mean to speak to me. You meant to speak to Mr. Lauren of the KG. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> here we go. Uh, vegetable, I just reached a consensus with Manai. If we want to fight the slavers, then we need power and influence. So how can you increase your power and influence? Huh. Outside are not our power and influence, but your power and influence. Help me? But why? Why? You saved us from the slavers. We will never forget that. The slavers are powerful. We must fight together. All right. Let's do it. Let's take him down. There are still many people oppressed by the slavers in, on this continent. These people are surely willing to fight us. Uh, help us. <clears throat> not fight us. As long as we gather the strength of everyone, we have the hope to defeat the slavers. So what is our first step? First, we must set up our own faction. Then we shall make this settlement a stronghold. Then we will talk about a deal with the slavers. Or, then we will talk about how to deal with the slavers. There we go. I think that's, that's probably what it is. Then we can defeat them? Of course not. But we have already sent messengers to every faction we have contact with on the continent. The fate of the Seekins and ourselves will count on you, Outlander. So please, accept our loyalty. I accept. All right. Wow. Th okay. That's, that's a lot. Okay. Elder and I, Vegetable, we need to speed up the construction of the village and prepare for defense. We need to find help from anyone we can. But first, we need someone to protect this settlement. There is a famous rogue named Shang... Shang... Chu? Ba? Shang Chu? Shang uh, I don't know. I'm very bad at pronouncing uh, Chinese names. I do apologize. Anyway, 
Um, he is the largest bandit band nearby. The most important thing is that unlike ordinary bandits, he only robs from the rich and distributes the looted goods and money to those in need. Such behavior attracted many people to join him. If we can find a way to persuade him to join our cause, it will be of great help to us. My people heard that now his band is resting near our village. If you want to persuade him, you must defeat him first. Okay, I see. Let me deal with him. All right, really? I, I don't even know whether I have the ability to defeat him. To, because I mean, really, I, I don't know. I felt like I did okay against the slavers, I suppose. But, I mean, I still have people that need to rest up a little bit here. So where where would he be? I don't even see... Wait, is that him? Oh, that's him over there. All right. Okay, so before we actually go anywhere, I just want to see if I can upgrade my logging... Oh, no, I don't have enough yet. Almost. I'm almost there, so that's actually not too bad. I have leveled up my forces just a little bit. I do need to go and sell. I also leveled up my pole arms. Okay, what's this? Pole arm attacks that can dismount. Ignore 15% dismount resistance. Okay, that's a little bit different. That, okay, so they've obviously done a little bit of work. Um, I'm talking about the base game here on the perks. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Otherwise, we're going to be decreasing our mounted accuracy penalty as well. Obviously, we're using that quite often. Let's also advance our polearm skill once again. We're probably going to be using our polearm quite a lot. And let's go into the town in just a second and sell the various prisoners that we have, just to make sure that we have a decent amount of cash for our inevitable defeat against this guy. Because <laughs> no doubt we're going to get a wonderful defeat, maybe. I mean, not entirely sure, but I suppose we'll see. Anyway, let's just sell all of this. 2,600, not too bad. I now have 7,300 once again, and it has auto-saved, so I don't need to save myself. Fantastic. All right, now let's just take a quick look. He just has regular bandits, so it shouldn't be that difficult for us to deal with. Oh, I'm resting. You want to die, do you? Uh, you are Zhang Chu Ba, right? I am the lord of the nearby village. I hope I can get your help. Huh, <laughs> you really make me laugh. Since you came to me, don't you know my reputation? I like you lords and rich people best. I've been robbing for years. It's the first time that I saw prey coming to my door. Forget it. I'm in a good mood today. Just deliver me all the valuables you have, and you can go. Well, in that case, you should be ready to surrender. Wow, this is the first time I met someone more crazy than me. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's do this. Okay, it's pretty, mm, pretty even battle. Pretty even battle. But I am, I'm feeling quite confident about this, to be honest. I'm feeling quite confident, generally because, whoa, Darian is an absolute monster. Look at him. He has some amazing skills. Okay. He is level 24, so that does make, that does make sense, doesn't it? All right, so let me just put my archers out the front there. I'm actually going to just uh, sp spread them out a little bit right there. All right, let's do this. Okay, this is not too bad. Really wish I could do more damage. There we go. That's the kind of damage I want to do. Thank you. Ow. Don't want to take any damage, though, please. Nice. Seems like I can kill these guys really easily. I'm actually super surprised about that. What What is actually going on here? It's It seems a bit strange that most of these bandits are dying within one hit. Because they should be at 100 HP. But maybe they've been injured somehow. You know, I mean, they were all resting after a fight. So maybe that's how they uh, allow you to win this or how they can give you a small advantage because obviously as he said they were resting so it could just have been that they were in a battle that's actually really cool i feel like that would be that would be um i mean obviously there is there is that 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 that, that actually does happen with vassals themselves because vassals obviously do get themselves into battles too but i feel like that doesn't happen as much as you'd think not sure if it's just me, but I feel like it doesn't happen as much. Anyway, let me see. Anything anything here that's actually good? Mm, doesn't seem like it. I will loot it all, though. Thank you very much. And now, if I had to bring my own wall band, uh, or should, should I say, if I brought my own, my whole wall band today would be your last day. I didn't expect to die at the hands of scum like you. Well, I'm not here to kill you. I just want you to help me protect my settlement. 
<laughs> Today must be the funniest day for me. A nobleman asked the bandit to protect his land. Don't humiliate me anymore. A man can be killed, but not humiliated. Today, I admit defeat. Take my life. I, I, I really didn't come to take your life. If you don't believe me, I can let you go. Let me go. If you think you're strong enough, you can let me go. I will be back with my brothers, and then I will beat you to kneel on the ground and beg for your life. Well, I'll let you go for now, but if you lose next time, you have to join me. You ordered someone to let him go. You can't defeat me twice. You are really a strange man. I will spare your life next time. Just prepare the valuable things for me. I'll be waiting for you. I will be waiting for you. There we go. All right, so we did defeat him, amazingly enough. And now we should ask Lauren about our next step. Okay, so before we actually do that, I would like to go very quickly over to Onika because I would like to uh, recruit some uh, some of those wonderful noble units. There we are. That is pretty nice. Okay, so apart from that, let me take a look. Ooh, we almost have we almost have enough wood. You know what? You know what? I'm actually going to do something real fast here. Uh, resource deposit. Here we go. We're going to go in and I'm going to construct my axe. Yep. Let's do that. There we go. And then we're just going to get the wooden axe. There it is. Actually, you could make some. You know what? Is this exploitable? Maybe it's exploitable. You might be able to literally create infinite amounts of these things right so like infinite amounts of wooden pickaxe for example and it sells for 457 as a baseline not entirely sure how much it sells for at the marketplace because i haven't actually seen that but if you think about it you might be able to make some really really good cash by just trading your resources for money so theoretically you could do it that way if you wanted to but Whatever the case, I'm going to be chopping down a whole bunch of trees and I will see you in I don't even know how long. All right, so before we go and actually upgrade our wood lumber camp thing, I wanted to show you something really actually pretty cool. You know how um, sometimes when you play a mod, you know, they... Um, they don't really think of the ways that players will interact with the, the environment sometimes. And I'm not saying that this is the case for every single mod, but in the past, in Warband, for example. I'm not talking about Bannerlord mods here at all. But now, just think about this. I actually tried this just now, and I thought, it's actually really interesting. Because look at this. I have an axe, right? You, what, what do you think an axe is good for? Well, it's good for chopping down trees. But what if I try using it against a stone? Boom, it gives you one stone. If you had a pickaxe, it would give you three stones. So it is more efficient. And I absolutely love that design decision because they could have made it so that it just gave you, you know, three stone or whatever the whole time. But they they went to the trouble of making it as... Uh, just They just went to that trouble. They went to the trouble of making it so that it is individual in terms of its... Um, in terms of your tool usage. So your tool actually matters because there are many, many cases in the past that I've seen where you could just basically use whatever. You didn't have to, you didn't have to bother with anything. You could just use whatever to gather resources or, you know, troops or whatever the case may be. But it was actually really nice to see that. I actually need five stone. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to wait here for some time until I get ten stone. And then I will be, uh, I will be happy to move on after that. And hopefully it will give me it just right about now. Should be giving it to me right about now. Or, yep, there we go. Okay, fantastic. Whew. I was a bit worried there for a second. I thought to myself, please, please let it happen. Okay, so we're just going to lock the scalpel there. I'm just going to change back my axe. And then we're going to go and do this. Actually, before we do that, let me just uh, save it just in case. And then we'll go in and we will do the logging yard. Boom. It's going to take 24 hours. That's perfectly fine. And now we will go into the Lord's Hall once again. And we will speak to Lauren if he's actually... Yes, he is actually here. Okay, perfect. Ah, come back so soon. He must be very unconvinced. Well, yes, what's next? I, I let him go and I told him that he'll have to join us the next time he loses. Well, that's it. 
Prepare yourself, he will come soon. Will he come? Don't worry, he will come as soon as possible. However, he has a large warband under his command. But I have a plan for that. Just follow my arrangement. Can I trust you? Defeat a person with such a big warband is not a walk in the park. Well, I've already thought of it. Listen to my plan. I've set a trap for him. After the battle started, he won't take your life. After fighting for a while, you can escape. Retreat? Yes, but a fake one. You can lure him to our ambush, and then... Remember when you retreat, head to the valley in the far side. We are outnumbered, so we must choose the best vantage point to set our ambush and traps. Understood. The rest is my part. Everything is under control. The bait has been thrown out, so we're just waiting for him to bite. All right, a member of the KGs walks in and says that there is a man who calls himself Zhang Chuba outside with a large warband. As I expected, it seems that he already knew this place. Remember, don't panic, just follow the plan. I see. I don't want to die too young. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Zhang is taunting you with a uh, large force outside your settlement. Lauren told you, just act like your plan anyway. All right. So, he has... Okay. He has five hundred units how do i um where is where is the uh where is the valley where is the valley let me actually just take a quick look here okay uh listen to his plan okay after you go back says as soon as a scout tells you has uh, asked you to go out and fight right so we're going to go and fight him in just a second let me just spec into something here decrease mounted accuracy penalty yep we're going to be taking that thank you and then we will go in and attack him. This is going to be amusing. I didn't expect you to dare to come out. It's not easy. See my powerful army? Haven't you scared? Aren't you scared? Huh. I'm not as kind as you. This time I want you to kneel before me. Well, I didn't expect you to talk so much. If you're here for a fight, let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, so um, you decide to attack and ready to retreat at any time. Boom. Boom. There are too many of Zhang's troops. Your attack has no effect. Uh, your attack will not have a good effect. Okay, retreat now. With the enemy on your tail. Okay, so this is how it works. I actually really love this. I love the way that the mod, uh, mod team has done this. Because this adds a, a whole other layer of... Not, not exactly strategy as such. But it adds a, it adds a whole other layer of player interaction that I very much like. I very much like this. Anyway, with the enemy on your tail, you can retreat in several directions. You will retreat to the depths of the valley. There we go. You successfully lured Zhang's troops into the canyon, and Lauren also successfully enclosed his troops in the canyon. All right. As your troops cross the valley, Zhang's troops rush in, with Zhang himself on the front. However, before they rushed out of the canyon, countless boulders rolled down the mountains on both sides, blocking their way back and out. Lauren stood at the top of the valley, surrounded by a large group of crossbows and bowmen with their bows and crossbows ready to shoot. Listen, Zhang, and the people below, put down your weapons and surrender. You are surrounded. Your life is in our hands. Shut up, if you think you're such a tough guy. Come and take my life. Well, I, I don't I don't think he's going to come down here, to be honest. I don't think Lauren's going to come down. Hmm, Xiang, you're still like this. Don't let your brothers lose their lives for nothing. Screw you. It's better to die than to be in the hands of you people. Well, I mean, to, to be fair, I mean, maybe he just enjoys that way of life. Who knows? That's right, but can't you remember my voice, Zhang? Uh, I mean, he, he probably can't remember it because I keep changing it all the time. Who cares who you are, huh? Is it ki Is that Brother Lorin? Lorin asks everyone to put down their weapons and walk towards Zhang. Then who else can it be? How is this possible? Brother, it is really you. Did you? It's all my fault. My fault. Well, many things can't be changed by you or me. It seems that you have grown up and matured. Well, apart from the fact that he didn't, he didn't want to see reason. But, uh, yes. Uh, what's going on? Why is Brother Lauren here? 
Well, he's helping us. I mean, I, I, I guess. I mean, I, I, I don't know why. I don't know why I have to fill the silence, but I, I have to fill the silence. Okay. Lauren looks at you. He saved me from the slavers. We built a base to fight them. I told him to find you. I see. I mean, I see. Zhang knows. Zhang is willing to follow, follow Brother Lauren to kill those bastards. Well, I hope so. Well, thank you, brother, but one thing, not with me, but with him. I'll tell you your place in my plan, and then you can arrange, uh, things, I guess. No problem. Brother Lauren, don't worry, you can count on me. Alright, so they obviously have a relation with each other, which is great. They, uh, they are acquaintances. And he says, hello, my lord, Lauren has told me everything. You can count on me, as I still hold a breath, the slavers won't proceed one step. I trust you. You are welcome. Brother Lauren said that rain cannot be confused. My lord, if you don't mind, let's have a competition alone when we are free. I won't lose this time. Lost to Lauren's strategy is not defeat. I'll finish what Lauren told me to do first. No problem. Practice makes perfect. I'll await your arrival. Alright, now we can make custom troops. You can make custom troops and troop tree in your own settlement menu. Oh my. Oh yes. I like that. Look at this. Okay. I like it. All right. What can I, what can I, what can I give them? I can, I can give them basically anything I want, right? I can give them absolutely anything I want. So I I can actually take please enter the number of troops you need. Each soldier costs 100 dinars. 5 The number of conscripts you recruit is bigger than the maximum capacity of your current army. Okay, good to know. So in other words, I can only get one at the moment because I have a bunch of these guys, but I can have an entire army filled with custom units. I am looking forward to this. Let's just say that. I am very much looking forward to this. This is going to be amazing. Super, super fun. And with that, that's actually going to be it for this episode. I would go, I would go for longer, obviously. I would go for a much longer episode here, but... I need to sort out all those custom units. That's that's literally the only reason why I'm stopping here. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.